Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your June 2019. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Gemini. We are going to see how this person is feeling, and then we're going to see if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you, Gemini. This is for Gemini for June 2019. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? We have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, so it could be communication coming in very soon for you, Gemini. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this person may have a little bit of a confession. Um, for you for their you know their love for you gemini and you're going to have to decide on what you want to do with that so let's see what is going on here this is for gemini for june 2019 gemini season right how do they feel about gemini if this resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be interchangeable or vice versa. This is for Gemini, June 2019. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? Okay. Okay, so they want to talk. They want to talk. But things, something happened here between the two of you. We have this Queen of Cups energy. This is water. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, I have um, air and fire here on the table. So I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the person that you are dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, remember time is fluid. If their sign pops up, then all the better, but I'm going to read the energies of the cards. And keep in mind, these energies can be interchangeable or vice versa. So this person still has love for you. That's what this is saying. Um, the Queen of Cups, male or female, it's like they're softening. This is a very soft energy, very caring, nurturing energy here. Um, this is uh, somebody that kind of wears their heart on their sleeve. So they're getting ready to put their heart on their sleeve you're going to be able to peek inside their heart um gemini because they're going to be very expressive towards you um this is you know pride was getting in the way of this situation it was very overwhelming um they're having a hard time letting go of the situation with you having a hard time walking away so I do feel like they're coming in with some very fast communication here. We have the Five of Swords, <clears throat> which is Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this is why I feel like they're softening, all right? Because it was like pride got in the way. Um, their pride got in the way of, of uh, communication. Their ego got in the way a little bit. We have the Five of Swords, that's Air. Um, so somebody walks away from the situation maybe they feel like you know you you just kind of dropped it you you put down your swords and you walked away and and it was like okay so jim and i walked away well you know let them walk that's their ego talking that's their pride talking um they're re really having a hard time letting go of this they feel like you are um, dropping the situation we have the ten of um, wands here this is fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius so they feel like you're you're working on walking away and dropping the situation they don't want you to do that um, they're having a hard time letting go it's becoming really heavy on them um, 
letting their pride get in the way of the situation. So when they come back, they're going to be a much softer version of themselves and they're going to be wearing their heart on their sleeve. Okay, they are coming. It's very quick. They want this communication with you. Um, fast moving communication. This person could live at a distance, um, but they want to talk. They want communication, especially with these cards here. So I do feel like they're going to reach out to you and you're going to see uh, it could be very soon here. You're going to have a decision to make in regards to this situation, Gemini. So let's see what else we can get for you. This is for Gemini for June 2019. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel? What actions will they take towards Gemini? June 2019 for Gemini, for Gemini, for Gemini. Yeah, they're building up their confidence right now. I see. Okay. So now it's like, I think they had to realize a few things in regards to the situation with you. Um, especially like seeing you walk away and them being unable to let go of you has really affected them. It's, it's like a complete mind switch. Um, when it comes to this person opening up emotionally to you. So we have the eight of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. This is earth. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So now they're going to put in the work. Now they're going to put in the effort because I don't feel like things were balanced before. And <clears throat> Gemini, sometimes you need that balance just as much as a Libra needs that balance. Um, so now they're going to put in the work. Okay. They're very focused on that when it comes to you. They want to put in effort now. They want to put in the work because they don't, they don't like you walking away from them. Um, they see you as very attractive. They're very passionate for you with this Queen of Wands energy. So um, this is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of fire here. Um, but this is a situation where they're having to build up their confidence again. Do you see how when you walked away, it really, um, it really bothered them. It bothered their ego. It bothered their pride. So now they're having to uh, build that back up. That's what the, the Queen of Wands is all about. Working on their self-esteem, working on their pride, working on their ego, working on their self-confidence. It really, it's like you shot them down. You, you know what I mean? Um, now they're coming back with a little bit more balance for you. They want things to be equal now. I think they saw the error of their ways where you were you you were the one that was doing all the giving and they were doing all the taking. And now it's a big change of heart because you walked away from the situation and simply they don't want you to. So now we're going to have that balance. You see that Libra scale there? Now it's going to be equal. Now there's going to be an equal give and take in the situation. This is what they're wanting. Six of Pentacles. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. We have the chariot here. So they do want a victory over the situation. They're coming in very, very quickly. You see this could be traveling to see you. Um, this is cancer energy. So this is, I mean, they could be most definitely traveling to see you, to talk to you, to really have an open conversation with you and um, this could be happening pretty soon here because it's very fast moving they want a victory here with you Gemini all right and they're going to tell you okay um, I don't want you to feel taken advantage of I don't want you to walk away from me I will put in the work now and look at here what did I tell you about the attraction ace of wands so they want a passionate new beginning here with you and then we have the fool so they do want to take a risk on a new beginning with you they want a fresh start here and i feel like now their heart is wide open it was like you were like i said before you were you were doing all the giving they were doing all the taking they were not um they were not open and now they're going to be open you see how um wide open this man's arms is and their heart chakras right out there in the open Okay, so 
they're going to take a risk on this. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're going to come towards you. With what? A cup of love, right? A proposal. Um, emotional communication. So look out for this, okay? Look out for this. Um, they know that they're up they're up against a challenge. I'm just going to... They're up against a challenge here, Gemini. I think you've blocked them. So they're coming back in because they can't let you go. Plain and simple. They're coming back in because they can't let you go. I mean, it's as simple as that, Gemini. And they're, they're softer now. They're not as scared anymore, I want to say. They're going to be much softer, more emotional towards you. And things are going to be a little bit more balanced. It's like you had to kind of stand your ground on this one. Right? All right, Gemini, that is your How Do They Feel About You reading for 2019. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I have put up a tentative schedule in uh, on my About section on my channel. And you can also find that schedule... Um, in the description box of <clears throat> each video. It's tentative, right? Um, it tells you when the lives are. Those are usually around noon Eastern Standard Time every day except for um, Sunday and or I'm sorry Saturday and then it will tell you when your weekly recorded video will be out from me. I am planning on a road trip so um, a lot of the daily videos while I'm gone are going to be pre-recorded, and I'm going to get as I'm going to try to work ahead and get as much um, content out as I can and have it scheduled for you guys to view at your regular time. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best with that, Gemini. You have an absolute beautiful week and a wonderful day. And I will talk to you very soon. All right. You take very good care of yourself. And God bless.